Sagittarius, hey y'all, welcome back to Southern Intuition. This is going to be a general love read for the remainder of October. Keep in mind, I do believe everything connects eventually, and if it's your message to hear, you'll do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to pull you a Celtic cross of the energies that are just currently surrounding you and where they're heading. If you have any characters that show up in the spread, I will clarify what they are thinking, how they feel, and what action they plan to take. And I will close it off with a message from the Herbal Crafters Tarot for you. This will give you a medicine to use to kind of help you in your path. Now, let's see. Sagittarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, even a cross watcher. Saggy. Sagittarius. I see, I, there's something here that's bothering you. There's a little bit of resistance to it. Just make sure that the cards are ready. And I think that's it. That was it. Things are going to shift here. There's a big change happening for you. I'm getting that, Sagittarius. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, the overall for the reading is a king of swords. So, this is someone who's completely sure about what they want. <clears throat> All right? And they're coming in. They're taking action because it makes sense to them. Uh, yeah. Coming into the current moment, the chariot energy. This is definitely forward movement. Things are happening. Influencing that is because of someone feels good. They do. They feel really good. Nine of Pentacles energy. And so that um, sense of independence is kind of pushing them forward. Um, the focus is kind of like the unknown, not really knowing or seeing the direction that this is going. There's something happening here that you're not even aware of. I mean, you're like, I don't see this. What are you talking about? Um, in the recent past, you probably gained clarity to kind of propel you, to push you forward here. On your mind is a Knight of Cups. Somebody's offering love here. In the immediate future, the Emperor. All right, so there's a sense of stabilizing out your empire, stabilizing out your life, being in control of things, looking good, looking back at things that you're clear about and how that pushed you and propelled you forward. Victory. Again, another card of victory supporting this chariot energy as well. There's definitely a sense of victory. But you're not aware of those with four pinnacles. Somebody's holding on or holding back here. Interesting. Um, in your emotions, you feel like, what are you talking about? So then intuition, because nothing's happening. I don't feel like nothing's happening, but... You're still focused on that. You're still focused on the uncertainty of things when you just don't see it. Your outcome is a star. <laughs> Your wish fulfillment. Big Aquarius energy popping in here for you, Saggy. Um, and your court card of the day. The King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let's see what this king is thinking, what he's feeling, and what he's going to do. I'm also going to clarify your um, the moon card for you. Let's see. All right. So, <laughs> this is your uh, Four of Pentacles energy. This King of Swords, this is in your environment here. They're holding back, okay? They got a lot of love for you. They got a lot of feelings, but they're thinking that for some reason they've got to hold back. <clears throat> And I don't, I mean, it looks like they're going to try to put a little bit of effort into it, but it's going to be, uh, I don't know. They've, they've got something that they want to say here, but I don't know. Let's pull another card on top of that. Oh, an ending. Okay. So <clears throat> where there has been this, um, 
this feelings of it's ruined, there's not much I can do, a sense of loss about this. That's what somebody's been holding on to. Even though that there was love here, they've been holding on to this pain, this King of Swords has. That's coming to an end. Remember when we first started to read, I'm like, things are going to shift. So this feeling of loss and this is ruined, it's over, That's that. those feelings are going to pass, okay? There's definitely learning that's coming in with this. Let's see this Knight of Cups. Let's see him. Okay. The Knight of Cups is finally getting out of his head and getting more into how he feels because he feels that <clears throat> this is coming to an end. And he is going to take action, Nine of Pentacles energy, based upon his independence, based upon how he um, he feels like he wants out of something, right? That's that Nine of Cups energy. He's no longer thinking about it. You know, he is feeling that there's something here that's done, and it's a partial success. Like it's it's halfway done almost. Like this is halfway done, but he's no longer allowing his mind to trip him up about it and it's a little bit of a struggle it really is but that's the wand the two of wands is a card of action so i do see this knight of cups actually coming in expressing himself and he's probably doing it because of the nine of pentacles because he feels good no longer in his head i want to know what this moon is and what you don't see it's i think it's something you want seven of cups the chariot and the magician yeah you you kind of feel a little bit trapped a little bit insecure about all of this sagittarius um you're confused very confused but this chariot energy because you got clear about what it was that you wanted you began to manifest so what you want is here it's coming in no more overthinking no more illusions no more confusion okay it's it's coming in here for you let's see the message from <laughs> the lovers sagittarius the hawthorne okay also the madre of earth which is the queen of pentacles energy i believe let's see the lovers the first major arcana i believe i've gotten for all of the signs so far uh danced with the beloved here desires in desire in spring becomes sustenance in fall love blossoms love wounds love heals so that's kind of interesting it's almost like whatever it was that you was putting effort into here in the spring and things have grown here they are in the fall it's coming in for you right give life to this to the fruits of the divine union hawthorne opens up the heart and ignites passion berries emerge from the pollinated flowers a partnership that feeds the bee and the tree relationships based on shared desires lead to sweet rewards take only what is yours only what fills you with joy if you pick too many flowers in the spring the tree will yield little fruit in the fall so when making a choice trust your heart Though the thorns can be menacing, they can also be protective. Create a hawthorn flower and berry elixir and drink it to welcome the beloved into your heart. Pause to watch the bees pollinating flowers and reflect on the magic of the desire of your, of your soul and journal about it. Visit a hawthorn tree. Hang your wounds on the thorns. Make a crown for your head and taste the berries or the flowers and dance around the tree. Because what you want is coming in here. Yeah, it's on its way. That's what I have for you, so good luck with that.